uh, and we have grass, and we have, we have uh, water, we, the deer, it rains, it's real, um, just like kind of how we all remember it. You, it's not a hologram, you're not l going to your family's uh, entertainment room and kind of all plugging in per se, you're going to unplug in this scenario. Our clientele would be a like-minded group of people, perhaps a bunch of granola people, who want to touch the grass again and, and swim in the water and canoe and kayak and, and experience life um, in a tangible sense. We want to capitalize on our membership needs. So if, if you want to eat beef, we have the beef. You pay a premium for it, but we have it. Um, and the membership needs are relevant and pertinent to our strategic plan, our facility, our branding program that we put in place. The foundation is privacy because as the world and the people within it become more and more controlled by governments and corporations, people are going to want to escape, so it offers an escape. They can either go um, do that virtually or they can go back to the land, become locavores, farm, and, and, uh, and live off the grid completely. We literally have our own ability to produce uh, the food that we that we uh, eat, so we're growing that. Uh, we have uh, our own technology with regard to uh, controlling our climate, so we're, we literally are in a dome, if you will, like a biosphere, and uh, we have our own water sources and so forth. So we're, we're even thinking that in the future that the environment's gonna be so potentially bad like China uh, that we create our own environment, but yet also uh, have our own uh, culture within a culture like clubs do. I think one of our leading economic factors is going to be all about control of your information, control of your privacy. Um, you know, how much of it do I want someone to see? This embedded technology, the assumption is, is that basically the computer is inside of you. Depending on how much our members want to share with us as far as the information, we will be able to customize their experience so that, um, you know, for example, John Smith comes into the club. We know John Smith because he's agreed to take a personality test of, and, and that sort of thing. We know that he's He's a sociable guy, but, but he also likes to be left alone. And because we're able to sort of read his biometrics, we know that this is the time when he wants to be left alone, so we're going to schedule him. You know, we'll, we'll tailor his experience. He, we know he's going to want to die alone or just with his significant other. Uh, we, all of us, a group here, feel that the next World War is going to be about water. So obviously anything that plays into that would require um, a lot of different infrastructures in place. Uh, we, we, we took the less uh, um, basic approach that things will be as they are today and I think we're looking more of what it would be like with chaos involved and what happens then when you've got control for all of these different um, activities. And so when it comes to manipulating the weather, uh, as you started to say, you know, we sort of based our whole, uh, our, our club offering on that and whether you want it to rain at a particular time from 2 to 6 o'clock in the morning, um, that has implications where now you don't need an irrigation system, you, you, it's built in, um, and that just you know spreads out across the board. It, our, our club is Club Utopia, the best club in the universe, by the way. Is, <laughs> um, and uh, we felt that our economic drivers were pretty much like yours, recreational offerings, exclusivity in our location. Um, and we uh, and the best four seasons available. Um, so anything, anytime, anywhere. How is our organization relevant in this uh, future uh, context? Again, the best four seasons plays into that as well. But the lifestyle is—it's uh, whatever you want it to be, 24/7. Uh, the convenience and the accessibility of that. Um, our superior service and the sustainability of that. The people who have an emotional connection to the, the four seasons. So there is going to be about what you were saying. You are so much inside that at some point you want to be outside. Yeah. Whereas the same thing if everything becomes controlled and it's perfect weather in Florida 12 months a year, there are people who are still going to want to see some rain, snow, and the foliage in the fall.